welcome back to Bump Lab. Thank you so much for your comments and your messages. We see them, we love them, keep them coming. In our DM segment today, we have a message from a mother who preferred to stay anonymous. And this is what she says. Hello, Bump Love. Thank you for the job. Very well done. You make parenting easier. Now, about etiquette. I am a mother of two, a boy and a girl. Whereas my daughter finds it easy to say sorry, my son does not. Yes, she's the kind that's required to say sorry most of the time because man, she is strong-willed. My son, on the other hand, is a rules follower. If you ask him not to do something, he will not do it. But of course, as a seven-year-old, there are times when he does things that require him to say sorry. This is the hardest part. It does not come easy for him. I have talked, I have explained why it's important to be sorry in life, but it's still hard. Imagine the frustration of your child taking in punishment for not saying sorry, then just saying sorry. I feel like I'm failing as a mother. What am I doing wrong? Ladies. No, you are not <laughs> failing as a mother, not yeah. at all. But I just wanted, I don't want to bias this conversation by yeah. gender, mm. but I just want to bring out something that might be important. And maybe this is for the older, for the older generation. I think people are doing better now, but um, in the way that, uh, I'm assuming that's an African, right? Yeah. yeah? yeah. In the way that the, Afri the African, upbringing dictates or is designed is more that um, men are macho mm -hmm. and they are in charge and they're in control mm -hmm. of everything and it starts from a very young age yeah. they don't end up like that they don't just become yeah. like that it's it, it's an upbringing issue and it's very difficult to to own responsibility of wrongdoing yeah. when you have pride and ego overshadowing everything that you do yeah. and people don't realize it but i've said this on the show so many times that boys look up to their men yeah. sorry whatever is happening uh, she hasn't mentioned if there's a man a in the a father yeah. a figure in the home or whatever but it they're usually looking it's usually a reflection of what they see wow. and it's not something that cannot be it, it can it can be done away with. Yeah. So I'm, I don't want to bias this conversation by gender, but yeah. I just thought I'd bring it out. Yeah. My yeah. when I when I when you say he, that the boy is a rules follower, the girl, the, the boy, boy is the rules yes. follower. Yes. Yes. yes, that already lets you know that somebody in their mind is always doing right. Yeah. If somebody is always following rules for them, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. I'm a rules follower, so it becomes a personality issue yeah. for him. Yeah. Yes. I have seen so many times when people say, even adults, they tell you, say sorry, say sorry. Like you go and say sorry to that person. Sorry should not come from somebody else because of somebody else's instruction. True. It should come from within. Yeah. You should feel the need to say sorry. Yeah. And the only way you can feel the need to say sorry, somebody explains to you yeah. the situations where sorry is warranted. Mm. And it's not to say that you have, you're a bad person. Some yeah. people don't like to be labeled bad. Yeah. Um, no me, one I'm wants no, to be labeled No, bad. some people almost don't you care. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> if in your eyes you think I'm bad, I'm yeah, sorry. Okay. For me, I'm trying my best, mm. but what to do? Mm. But where I fail, I'll always be able to apologize and empathize. So I think one of the things here is to lure the child in mm. and not immediately attack with, what are you broken the plate? Say sorry. Say sorry. Mm. No. You're not like, oh, but you know, Tom or Isaac, maybe as you are, lure them in yeah. to acknowledge that they did something, something wrong. No, 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 not wrong. Mm. That they did something. something. Mm. Yeah. Then learn to teach them that that was not wrong. good, it was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And even the wording matters. Yeah. Not good is better than wrong. Mm. You can say, you okay, so the packaging. Mm. <laughs> so you can say something like, okay, maybe let's say he broke, he threw something down and he broke yeah. something, and then he, he'll immediately defend. Then you'll tell him that, okay, maybe you were just doing something and then you hit this and accidentally it fell. Yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah. You just ask leading questions. Then he'll say, yeah, but you see, then now he'll start saying, yeah, but I didn't do it intentionally, but he has acknowledged, he has acknowledged. that that happened. Then you say, but you see, when you do that, mommy has to get money out of her pocket. And then it's not nice. Yeah. I, it, I have, so you have to be more responsible. Then you teach him to acknowledge that somebody's feelings were hurt. Mm. So when he realizes that, oh, my mom that didn't like that, then he'll know that, oh, okay, so maybe. Then now another issue, and then I'll come back to Jade. <laughs> You know when women do wrong, they are, when wives do wrong, husbands do what? Buy flowers, buy gifts. Yes. Men generally and boys, if sorry is a poor response, mm. 
what they are trying to ask is what can I do to mm, make you make feel better? better. Mm. Yes. That is it. Mm. So accompany the story with what can you do? Then you'll tell him, okay, now this has happened, it has broken, you don't have money to pay. Mm. Maybe wash the rest of the dish. Do something. Mm. Atone for yes, your sin. atone for your sin. They actually so you're want the to do something. Him. Him. Yeah. You're the one who tells all, him. Yeah, you're the one who was telling they never think of it on their own, no, dear. And I say, isn't this thing. a problem that happens in many marriages? Oh, yes. He did this. Why didn't he say sorry? Couldn't you see what he had done was wrong? Yes. They don't see yeah. it. No, they, they pass you some no, no, mobile no, money. No, no. They send you some mobile money and the world is all exactly. right. So you just need to teach them to balance that what you've done, no, I'm not going to, to hit you or beat you or whatever. Or, no. I'm just trying to explain to you that this is so that you can feel that caffeine mm. that makes you say sorry without you me having to tell you say, say sorry. sorry and that's it i think it's a whole packaging issue yeah yeah that's that's actually that need to say sorry is actually called conviction so i think that your role as a mom is to help your child mm -hmm. feel the conviction to say oh i actually did yes. something wrong and this but what you have shared actually reminds me of what's going on in our own homes even for kids mm -hmm. who it's okay for them to say sorry mm -hmm. i think because we come at our children with what have you done oh my gosh you yes. have spilled the milk so now they they sort of draw back they get defensive and like you have said most people don't want to admit that they are bad people or most, most people don't want to be labeled bad, bad people bad. which is why when you come at them with you have done something wrong it's like walls go up yeah, yeah. yeah? and now for a strong-willed child really like you said i don't want to belabor what you've said lure the child in i think your job as his mom is to help him acknowledge what he has done yeah. wrong yeah. like like show him that this this thing that you have done has affected some people or some exactly. child a certain way. Yes. Yeah. I think the mistake that we come with is I want to teach my child how to say uh -huh. sorry. Yeah. So even before you, you, you get the facts, because maybe you have walked in, you see children, one is crying, your, your son is the one standing <laughs> <laughs> on their side. And immediately you think he has done something wrong. So say sorry. You're like, hey. So even me as a child, I'm just like, why should I say sorry? I'm yeah. not the one in the wrong, yeah. you know? So I think it's establish the facts yeah. of what has happened. And sometimes you may not be able to establish them right there and then because it's two children, you are not there. Yeah. This one is saying, this one beat me, the other one is saying, oh, this one attacked me first. Yeah. So establish the and facts. the other one looks guilty. Uh -huh, the other one looks <laughs> guilty. Your child looks guilty. Your child usually looks so guilty. So to salvage the situation, you're like, say sorry. Yeah. yeah, which is not helpful. I think that it's important to teach our children to say sorry out of conviction as opposed to obligation. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So I think, thank you so much for the advice, uh, because I think that was the anonymous mom. Hey. I, thank you so much. I'm so grateful to in you. Your house, yes, is, in my in house, your house. In my house. In my house as is. Yeah. Uh, but yes, oh. so I, I, I usually say that when, some, when your child does something, or when your child is a certain way, it's a personality thing. Mm. Mm. So definitely the boy is a serious child. Mm. Uh, there's the four personalities. No, oh yeah, she calls it strong-willed, but th that, that, that's the Bianca in her home, mm, and okay. this is the Blake's. And yes, so the Blake strong-willed is the girl. Is the then girl? The yeah, the yeah, boy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she was saying that her girl okay. is strong-willed, yes. so she'll always do wrong things. So she's used to saying sorry. But the okay. boy who is a rules yeah. follower has a hard time saying sorry. sorry. And again, like Pumla had said earlier, it's a personality thing. Yeah. He's he's a, he's something in the in you know in in our world in the early childhood world that we call a serious child. Mm. So he's very analytical. Before he mm. does something, he's thought through yes. it. So when you come and tell him that what he did was, was wrong, I know more because he's like you've not, yes. thought, not this thought this through. through yeah. You've just come and found the end result, but. If I'm to take you backwards, mm. yeah. the truth is, yes. the prop I am, I am the one sorry. who's right. And unfortunately, yes. me, Mommy Anonymous, unfortunately, yes. it's true. Mm. Every time I find a problem and Blake yeah. and Bianca are having a row, and Blake seems like he's in a wrong, and he refuses to say yes. he's sorry, I call him. Ah. I said, can you miss yeah. me from the beginning? Yeah. How did it happen? How yes. did it happen? So he explains to me his yes. frame of mind mm. from the back. Mm. And usually, by the time they are done, I realize they are both right. Mm. I guess that's mm. why in the Western world they say it's no answer is wrong, no yes. answer is right. Yes. It's about opinion, situation, yeah. environment, and point of view. Mm. Yeah. So then I'm like, oh, now I understand. Yes. So at that point when I bring them together, 
now I explain both sides, both uh, uh, viewpoints. Yeah. And yes. I'll, I'll give you an example because yeah. since without examples are not here. <laughs> <laughs> Bianca is crying on top of her head mm. because Blake, they have a, a they, they have a joining bathroom and toilet to mm. both their yes. rooms. Mm. And so Bianca would leave the lights of the room open and Blake would come and switch them off. So there would be a off, on, on. off, on, off, on shabang. Mm. And one time Bianca is crying and yeah. shouting. And so I ask, I come and say, what's going what's on? Going She's on? like, mommy, there is, you know that thing where um, uh, builders leave a roof in the, so a that you hole. can have access, yes, a yes, hole yes, in the yes, roof. Yes, yes. They leave a hole. So she was scared that something would be coming down. And it seemed plausible, and I could have said, yes. you know, Blake, why can't you see that your sister is scared? scared. Yes. He's like, mm -mm. so I, I call him. I say, well, mm. what's the problem? Mm. Call him, mommy. That's a waste of electricity. electricity. <laughs> like, which it like is. Which it is exactly. Yeah. So for him, he has thought about it. And yes, I could have just come and said. And meanwhile, there were even some melees in the mix. Hey. Hey. So I'd like to see that. So. <laughs> so at that yeah. point, like it was just, it's a plague. Why would you do that to your sister? La, la, la. Yes. But then when yeah. I said, okay, so first come and what's what what is really wrong? Mm. When he explained to me, I realized it was neither a right nor a wrong. Yeah. Him, he had, had thought about argument. it yeah. really deeply. Yes. So anonymous mom, my advice to you, every time your son says, refuses to apologize, go back give him time to explain himself from the beginning to the end yes. and i kid you not most times he will be right in a, even in an angle you as your you as, as the mom adult, yes. or as the adult mm. would not have thought about it and then at that point deal mm. with the fact that yes like you said earlier maybe he's hurt someone's feelings yeah. in him being right he's probably had, in the had process done. had someone's feelings so that now he's not apologizing for what he did but rather yes. for how, how it affected somebody yes. else. Yes. So because now he will apologize. Because yeah. I realize that for Blake, he, yeah. as long as he's not apologizing for what he did, mm. because him he thought through it. Yes. it makes it's sense. kawa. Mm. Now he's apologizing. Oh, I'm so sorry, mommy. I made you feel that way. I'm so sorry. I made you feel yes. that way. Because mm. now he knows that the wrong thing wasn't what he did, mm. but rather yeah. how at the end of the day it affected how. Yeah. How he, yeah. I how think that's one of felt. that's that's. I think that's a, that's something that's very valid and has a lot of weight that. You should also teach that what are you apologizing for yes yeah. but also i want to speak to the the, the mom who's their children and we we sit with those people in the office who think they're always right because yeah. they thought True. through things yeah so they're always validating what they what their actions yeah. because they literally have to and when they take you through the process it seems right it seems, right. Yeah. It seems okay yeah. but it is not right mm. yeah. if you're going to weigh if you're going to teach children to weigh empathy over logic mm. if somebody tells you that there's a hole in the roof and I fear things are going to come for me. Mm. And then the other one tells you, but you're wasting electricity. Mm. Teach your child empathy, empathy over overrides logic. logic. Yeah. Don't, yeah, and then that is it. And then don't apologize for switching off the light. Tell them that in places where you're living in communities, now this is teachable moments. Yeah. When you're in a community, you're living with other, other people. people. Yeah. So much as your th thought process might be right in your mind, yeah. please know that you can Thought processes are always right in our minds, yeah. but we don't live in bubbles. Yeah. We live in communities with, with people, people, and we yeah. have to take their feelings into consideration. Mm. For as long as you do that, then you'll find a balance, yeah. because that's just life. Yeah. It's a balance, and then you let them know that she didn't like it, and leave. Don't say, apologize to your sister. Mm. That story will come when yeah. you realize, oh, did she really feel that bad about yeah. those things that are going to fall into the roof? Yeah. I'm so sorry, I didn't realize that's how you felt. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. Wow. I mean, and you're, you're so right about that because I remember like in that particular situation, mm. th for, for me the teachable moment was compromise. Yes. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so if she's switching on her light and it's affecting, how about if we switch, I mean if she's switching on the middle light and it's affecting, and it's affecting your sleep, do you realize that if she switched on her light, it would be kawa. Yes. Oh yes. So Even for her, like, good. Yes. So my light. light. So she left her light. Until one day said, eh, I, mean, I, can't I can't sleep, sleep. when the light is when on. The light is and on. all of a sudden, the whatever was them. falling from yeah. <laughs> stop <laughs> was not on. <laughs> falling. <laughs> It disappeared. <laughs> wow, ladies, thank you so much for for very, very valuable advice. I feel like even for me, I know I said before we started the show that I'm here to learn, 
um, but I think I've been one of those parents who is apologize, you know, say sorry, because you're intent on teaching your child how to say sorry um, and forgetting that the long term, that when they grow up, they're just going to be saying sorry, not yeah, out of not conviction, that, yeah. yes, but like out of obligation. After all, I was told to say sorry. Then, then they're the ones who say, uh, but I said sorry. I said sorry, eh. And then it's like, argument has about ended. That. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So there you have it, Anonymous Mom. I hope we have been helpful. If you are in this situation or have, you know, more than one child in your home and can help our Anonymous Mom, please do leave your advice in our comment section. And remember, our DM is always open. If you have a query, a concern about parenting or motherhood, we are here to help you. So do send us that message and we'll answer it right here on the show. Until next time, with love from Bamplove.